Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and today we're going to be doing the importance of grooming video. So this is going to really just talk about why and what you need to do for your guinea pigs in order of grooming to keep them healthy, happy and everything like that. So the first bits that you need to think about for when you're going to get a guinea pig or if you already have guinea pigs that they do require grooming. Now grooming is not only for them to look nice and everything but it's also for their health and for their happiness so that they're not in pain or anything like that. So hopefully Clara's going to model for us really nicely but I'm just going to go through the main steps of grooming and why these are so so important to your guinea pig. So this is what is in my grooming kit and this just includes all of what I use to groom the girls on a regular basis so this isn't the medical kit. I do have a video on that B, and I will link that down below. But I will go along and really show you everything in the kit and then we will show what Clara and we can go into a bit more detail about what I use and why. So the first items are the range of brushes and combs. So I like to have a range because I do have long hairs. Now I know that this bristle brush is really really good for short hairs as well. I like to use this just to get them used to having a brush but also to finish it off really. It creates a nice effect on them and it's really really nice and soft. Then the next brush I have is more of a kind of more of a slicker brush but it's a soft slicker brush so it's not got the pins it's got rubber like plastic pins instead so it's a lot lot softer for your guinea pig but it means that the hair will go through it and more it's more likely to come across like mats and stuff whereas this would probably just brush over that so this is a brush that you definitely need if you have long hairs you can pick these up at many many local pet shops and I actually have seen them in pets at home and I believe I got this one on eBay but I'm pretty sure this same one is sold at pets at home. Then the next brush is optional and is actually just a normal pin brush but apparently all the pins have gone down for some reason but I don't often use this brush but I think it's quite a good alternative really to the slicker but if you don't have that on hand but I do think the slicker is better to use on them if you've got long hairs rather than the pin brush. The next one is a comb and this one is pretty pretty you know you need this for having long hairs because it's great for their facial hair especially I use it to kind of like go through their fur and then I will trim along it so it kind of guides it and everything and it's much much better. I'd never pull out a mat with this because it would just cause too much pain and it's rather much easier just to trim that out. The next item are the nail clipper. Now the nail clipper is an absolute necessity and is one item that you have to have when you have guinea pigs. It is so 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 important to trim your guinea pigs nails on a regular basis and I can't stress that enough because it's both for the health and the happiness of your guinea pig. I will go into more details about that with Clara and show you and tell you more why and how why it's so important keep your nails trimmed. The next item is actually, it's kind of more of an optional item, but I like to have this just because they're long hairs and I did use it when they had the fungal infection to keep the areas nice and short, so when applying stuff it was a lot easier. Now this is just a mini, I think it's a face dog trimmer and it is by Wal and it is just a really really simple little trimmer and I think it would be great also for bum areas if you want to go quite short. If your guinea pig's prone to getting a messy bum all the time it's probably best to take it a little bit shorter than normal. My girl's generally okay but I think this is definitely a good item to have if you have long haired piggies. And the size I must say is absolutely perfect being so so small for a guinea pig's body. The next is again a 100% definite if you have long hairs. 
so these are just some scissors I actually had these from my old hairdressing course so these are pretty professional in that way but and they are quite sharp and I can sharpen these and not really need to get new scissors but I would suggest if you are not confident with trimming your guinea pigs hair is to get round ended scissors now these are quite sharp at the end so unless you're really confident you don't want to be using these I have quite a lot of experience of grooming animals I've groomed dogs and done also hairdressing and also doing guinea pigs now so I'm quite experienced in the fact that I can use these scissors safely and therefore I would not recommend them just to a beginner owner so I would definitely get the round ended ones which you can easily find at your local pet shop the next item is again I would say necessity if you've definitely got long hair or even short hairs if they get a messy bum is to have small pet grooming wipes so these are specifically for small animals so you want to make sure that your wipes are the same and they are for not not for dogs and cats but these are specifically designed to help to get the dirt and the loose hairs but also ultra hygienic to clean their area so I don't use these all over I know some people I think the actual packaging kind of like implies that you could use these all over the coat instead of like giving them a bath or something which is something you might want to do but I just use them for their bum area to keep it nice and clean and I generally wipe that every single week or if needed more frequently when the girls have a messy bum. Then one of the last items is this Manuka and Neem shampoo but this is really I'm kind of overall you need guinea pig shampoo and this is regardless of whether you have a short hair or a long hair. Generally guinea pigs are it's advised to at least have around probably about one to two baths per year and I don't I wouldn't say that you definitely need that amount especially with short hairs but it's just really as and when they need it and if they smell like they kind of need a freshen up and you think they could do with it it's probably the time to do it so with short hairs it's generally a lot lot um, less frequent than long haired so with my girls I probably do probably about every four months or so but it's not on a regular basis and it's just an as and when thing as well but having a specific shampoo for guinea pigs is definitely an essential when owning them now we'll be going into a bit more detail about how I use the items and also the reasoning behind this now the first thing that we need to do now if you have a short hair this is still relevant to you that we need to make sure that their nails are nice and trimmed and short so you have to be very careful when trimming their nails and sometimes some piggies are really difficult at doing so Arabella out of my three is probably the hardest to do and then probably Clara and then Daphne last. Nails are super duper important in the health of your guinea pig. If you leave them to grow too long, they end up curling round back on each other and can actually pierce the pads of your guinea pig's foot. Now this can cause so, so many problems. It can cause extreme pain for them walking, it can create deformities in their feet especially when young and it is just an absolute nightmare it can be it'll create infections because of the piercing of the pads and it's just really really uncomfortable for your guinea pig and it should never 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 get to that stage when you're leaving your nails their nails that long to trim they should be done I roughly I check every single week when I do their health check which is another very very important thing to think about when having guinea pigs and I will link that video down below but we have to trim their nails every couple of weeks I would say with my girls it's probably about every two weeks they do grow relatively quickly but I don't pit, um, cut them back sorry to right where the quick starts now because we do not want any blood anywhere and the quick is a blood vessel in each of your guinea pigs nails and it can be at any length now it is so much easier to see on a light colored pig's nail compared to a dark now Clara actually has a mix of both so I don't know if you can see very well but some of her nails are black 
there's one there that's black and then these two are lighter so you can find them the quick a lot easier and you can look in the light and everything now the quick I will put probably some pictures on as well to show you exactly where the quick is and what kind of angle you need to cut your piggy's nails at so you don't want to cut it so it's all sharp at the end and you don't want to cut it at an angle that is going to be more uncomfortable for them to walk on so you want to at a natural angle and that is the preference of when you're cutting your piggy's nails. You want to definitely be a little bit more over cautious when trimming their nails because you want to, as much as you possibly can, prevent cutting the quick because A, it will bleed a lot but also it will cause pain to your guinea pig and they probably will remember the next time they get their nails trimmed and it will probably cause a lot more issues for you to hold them and trim their nails in the future. So the quick if you do catch it, can be easily stopped with either there is a static, static, um, styctic, I think it is, powder, or you can actually use flour or corn flour to just dab on the end. Now, the nail clippers that I like to use to clip my guinea pig's nails are these Buster nail clippers. These are actually dog nail clippers and I had them for my old dog Harriet. They are absolutely fantastic. They are so, so smooth to use. They have like a little safety clip and a safety barrier, but I normally move that out of the way. Some people do actually use human nail clippers now as long as they are really sharp then they are fine and they will not make the guinea pigs nail kind of brittle and kind of like crush them so as long as they're nice and sharp but I prefer to use the small dog clippers because I do find they're a lot they're a lot sharper and they go through them so much easier because guinea pig nails are generally not that hard so they don't require a really really big nail clipper do they? No. So the next important step when having guinea pigs, other than their nails, is to brush them. This is especially if you have long heads. So if you have Peruvians like I do, they need to be brushed on a regular basis and just to keep make sure that they don't have any mats or anything like that. So this is why also after weighing them weekly, it is great to have a health check and then a groom if possible if you've got enough time. So I like to look at their fur, make sure I can feel no mats or anything and I do that when I'm doing their health check anyway. Now with long hairs their bum areas do become more matted and messy and this is something to consider when you're getting long hair if you're ready to be able to trim them regularly. I have to do it probably about one to two every one to two weeks I would say for trimming their bums because it does grow very rapidly and it's so so important because otherwise if you do not brush and trim your guinea pigs if they are long hairs they will get mats. Now mats are where the hair tangles and it generally stays at the root and it can really really pull on their skin so especially if it's under an arm or something it can pull and it can make it really really uncomfortable for the animal when it's walking and if they get them around their bum this is another reason why we need to brush them but also trim those mats out it is best when you do come across a mat just to snip it out because it causes too much pain and stress to the guinea pig when you are combing them or brushing it out because it is quite painful it's like when we get tangles in our hair it can be extremely painful and it's just much much safer and easier just to trim it out another reason why to trim their bum area is for hygiene reasons so we don't want loads of little poops there or wee so you need to be able to trim that area and wash it as and when now I do wash my girls my girls bum sorry just really as and when they need it it's not a regular thing that I do and in between baths I will use just some grooming wipes which <laughs> we have an escapee I will use just some grooming wipes which are just small pet grooming wipes and I just use those on their bum area just to freshen up if it doesn't need a full-on clean that leads on to another point of that we need to wash them every so often 
Now normal guinea pigs, normal short hair guinea pigs don't require a wash, it's normally just when they kind of smell like they need it, but for long hairs it's generally a lot quicker than that and there's a lot, it's a lot more frequent. Now a great shampoo and a place to get guinea pig skin products is Gorgeous Guineas in the UK. Now this is a brand that is completely natural and they have fantastic items for your guinea pigs. So I get my shampoos there because they are all safe for guinea pigs and designed for them. So I will leave the links to um, Gorgeous Guineas down below because I'm sure a lot of you will want to go and see that. This Miss Clara is now on my lap apparently. <laughs> Another reason to groom your guinea pig is that you will get to know your guinea pig really really well in that you will notice if there are differences with their skin, if there's any dryness, if there's any redness on them and anything like that. So that is actually how I found out about the fungal infection when it first came around because I groom the girls very often. So this is very, very important for their health to be able to check them over very regularly and that goes along with the health checks and the weighing. So that kind of leads it all into one and I think for short hairs it's a lot less maintenance. However, the importance of, I think the main point of why I'm doing this video is the importance of trimming your guinea pig's nails and keeping them nice and short because it can create so, so many problems and it's just not fair to leave them with their long nails. So this is one thing you've definitely got to consider when purchasing a guinea pig or if you've already got guinea pigs. So this is definitely one of those, it has to be done. And even if you're not feeling confident enough yourself, vets will do it, groomers will do it. So it's definitely worth to either keep some money aside for that every so often and or be able to teach yourself a little bit more about grooming and trimming your guinea pig's nails. So to end the video, I'm not sure if you can actually see Clara, but she just wants to be cuddled. Don't you don't want to sit in the open. But um, yeah, so to finish the video, it's really just to kind of bring more awareness to grooming and trimming your guinea pig's nails for their health and their happiness. Because a guinea pig who has short nails can run and play so much easier and also one without mats and who is groomed on a regular basis so they are going to be happier and much much healthier than if they weren't so thank you so much for watching and i shall speak to my next one bye